Hello, welcome to our channel, Gerard Master, the health educator. Today we are going to talk about antibiotics. We are going to talk about antibiotics. Remember to subscribe to our channel for new videos daily. So without further ado, we shall define what antibiotics are. Antibiotics are drugs that are used to treat infections. These are drugs specifically used to treat bacterial infections. You may realize that you realize that antibiotics are divided into very many groups, but what you need to know is that never never self-medicate yourself with antibiotics without seeing your doctor. These drugs, these antibiotics are divided into several subgroups and the first group is what we call the macrolides macrolides are those specific types of drugs that act on infections mostly they are used in treating lung infections examples of macrolides include the erythromycin they include azithromycin they also include the tobramycin all these drugs have to be prescribed to you by your by your doctor specifically after doing some tests the next group of antibiotics include the cephalosporins cephalosporins also belong to those type of antibiotics which handle or which treat a broad spectrum of infections cephalosporins include the cephalexin they also include cefroxime and then they also include the ceftazidime so specifically you always always have to really make sure that you see your doctor who will prescribe to you these antibiotics there are other classes of antibiotics known as penicillins these include amoxicillin and then also we have the amino glycosides amino glycosides include the gentamicin they include actually amikacin these are drugs which are really serious and they actually have serious adverse effects so always make sure that these have to be given to you in hospitals after you've seen your doctor and the appropriate tests have been done the next group of antibiotics we are going to look at include the tetracyclines these include doxycycline and the, any other types of uh, tetracyclines but specifically doxycycline is also used in treatment of infections of the urinary system but nowadays it's also used in the treatment of acne and then also another skin disease known as rosacea so specifically we are going to look at how do these antibiotics work these antibiotics work by preventing the spread of infection and then they also do work by killing bacteria so in medical terms we call this a bactericidal action and a bacterial static action so antibiotics work by preventing the spread of infections and then also they do work by by killing the bacteria remember whenever you do feel sick make sure that you go to your hospital go to a nearby health center and have a doctor assess your condition have a doctor do some tests the commonest tests that are done in hospital before you are given antibiotics include basing on your symptoms basing on how you're feeling the commonest tests include the urine analysis test where a urine sample is taken we've talked about urine analysis tests we've talked about utis in our previous videos feel free to go to our channel Gerard Master, the health educator, and there are lots of videos we've talked about handling UTIs. So remember, go there and then look, I mean, get all those video lessons we've put out there. They will be very fantastic for you. So we are talking about the tests that are done in people or in patients who have been suspected to be having bacterial infections. The first test is what we call the urine analysis test, where we analyze your urine macroscopically, that is with how the urine appears in the container and then biochemically or under biochemistry analysis and then of course under microscopy where we look for some cells that may be present so the next test that can be done in hospital to prove or to confirm that you could be having a bacterial infection is what we call a cbc cbc means a complete blood count so a complete blood count is a test whereby the whole of your blood cells will be analyzed specifically the wbc's or the white blood cells these are cells that fight against infection and then the rbc's or the red blood cells will also be analyzed and then lastly the platelets the cbc is divided into uh, into two into two parts there's the three part cbc and then there's the six part cbc these details will be explained to you by your doctor the next tests that can be ordered or that can be done on you include the high vaginal swab they also that is in women with uh, repeated infections that are not going away they can do a high 
high vaginal swab and then also they can also do a blood culture and sensitivity or even a urine culture and sensitivity that is in the patients who have repeated infections you've taken all the drugs all the antibiotics you know all the antibiotics by name you're not responding then have yourself checked for a blood culture and sensitivity and then of course you can also do a urine culture and sensitivity let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments i will answer them personally you can go to our youtube channel right now gerard massa the health educator and please there are lots of videos just specifically ready for you to watch and to learn about your health to learn about your well-being remember to subscribe to our channel for new videos and then of course my uh, whatsapp number is plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight and seven six that is plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight and seven six Join me on WhatsApp and let us talk more. And then also remember to share this video with your friends. Today we've talked about antibiotics and this is a wrap up. We, uh, we said that antibiotics are drugs that treat or prevent infections. They, spread, they, they prevent the spread of infections. They prevent the spread of bacterial infections. Then they also kill bacteria. So these have to be given to you, to you by your doctor after doing the necessary tests and we looked at the tests that are normally done in hospital and these tests include the cbc uh, the urine analysis uh, the blood culture and sensitivity the urine culture and sensitivity and the high vaginal swab but also other tests may be done on you uh, basing on the country you live in basing on uh, the availability of resources it may not be a must that they have to do a cbc on you they could actually do a full blood count they could do a film report on you and yes still interpretation has to be done by your doctor and the necessary drugs will be given to you please as a word of caution do not self-medicate yourself with antibiotics why do i say that you should not self-medicate yourself with antibiotics number one antibiotics cause adverse effects for example the cephalosporins we talked about uh, that is the ceftriaxone the cephaloxime and then also the penicillins for example the amoxicillin they are known to cause serious adverse effects so before you take these drugs let your doctor do an assessment on you and let your doctor do the prescribing please don't do the prescribing the next thing is whenever you go to hospital and you have been found to be sensitive that is if you react to any of these drugs for example antibiotics but there could also be some other groups of uh, antibiotics for example the trimethoprim uh, commonly known as septrin or cotrimoxazole if at all you react to septrin or cotrimoxazole whenever you go to hospital please always tell your doctors that you react to sulfur drugs or you react to drugs containing sulfur the main reason is if you do not talk about this and then they give you these drugs a serious reaction can go on and this reaction is what we call the anaphylaxis or an anaphylactic reaction it is very serious and it is life threatening so remember always to talk about any drug sensitivities you have share them with your doctor before you take any drug the other thing is the commonest side effects uh, apart from the anaphylaxis anaphylactic reactions are severe but the commonest reactions include uh, bloating in the stomach you feel your stomach is kind of increasing in size and there are sounds in there and then there's also uh, diarrhea and then you will actually feel sick much as you are not sick but you feel more sick so whenever you have that feeling of yeah you're really sick after taking a particular antibiotic maybe after doing an overdose like you've taken two doses at once then please always go straight away to your doctor call your doctor or go there and then they will manage you accordingly the next thing i want to talk about is uh, we've talked about the side effects of antibiotics we know that uh, whenever you're feeling sick more sick after taking the drug then and then also whenever you have stomach pain and diarrhea and even bloating in your stomach that could be antibiotics causing this the other thing i want to caution a word of caution is uh, whenever you uh, uh, prescribed these drugs and let us say they've the doctors have given you the drugs and you're supposed to take maybe in the morning and in the evening but you forget to take your dose in the morning please do not go back and double up the dose because when you double up let's say when you double uh, let's say you're supposed to take two capsules of amoxicillin and then you say let me take four 
what normally happens is this all the drugs that are taken into our bodies are filtered in the kidneys the kidneys deal with the filtration they remove what is necessary and then they pass out what is not needed in form of urine and sometimes you've realized that whenever you take some antibiotics and then you go and do pee and you go and urinate uh, there's, there will be that smell, that strong smell of the drug you took. What does that mean? That means your kidneys deal with the filtering and the break and, and the filtering of, of these drugs before they go to the liver for further metabolism. So, uh, further breakdown in the liver. So, specifically, whenever you forget your dose, please, please, please don't double up. Don't take more drugs you specifically if you miss the morning dose go on and begin in the evening and then proceed with your dose do not say that since i missed in the morning let me double up so thank you for staying with me today i'm called gerard massa the health educator i do health education both online and offline in medical centers but i'm really so happy to connect with you my friend join me on youtube to watch more of my videos i talk about cystitis i talk about utis i talk about fertility infertility i also talk about pcos or polycystic ovarian syndromes i also talk about endometriosis endometritis anything to do with women health anything to do with general well-being please let me know and i will answer all your questions have yourself a fantastic and healthy day and remember we are in lockdown covid lockdown covid 19 lockdown so let us follow the advice that is out there let us let us so practice the social distancing let us do everything that is needed remember when we are strong and we keep positive things will be fine but also let us not forget to kneel and pray to the almighty lord to let us remember to pray to god for everything to stabilize because there are things that tend to be beyond our control but it's only god who will have the final answer so have yourself a fantastic day and may god bless us all bye bye gerard massa the health educator